July 1 is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. Two images and voices have appeared before the world.带孩子来看到这个建党一百周年的那个灯光秀感到非常激动 since June 22, the CCP has held several party celebration performances at the China National Stadium or the Bird's Nest in Beijing's Olympic Park. Even a fireworks rehearsal was carried out on the 22nd. It might have been the first time in the world that a show for fireworks needed to rehearse. Beijing did not announce the cost estimate for the celebration because it is a state secret. Some netizens have revealed that the rehearsal alone cost RMB 70 million. On the other hand, videos circulating online show that the Communist Party has recently tightened its control during the party's celebration. According to insiders within the Chinese government, about 30,000 armed soldiers have entered the bird's nest in Beijing. Large numbers of police and police dogs are also present in the streets of Beijing. Many so-called civilians, dressed in the same costume marked as civilians rather than police, are standing guard or on duty every few dozen meters on every street. Some petitioners said that many police cars on the streets of Beijing have changed to look like ordinary sedans, supposedly to give off a better festive mood.
Petitioners are a unique phenomenon in China. When the Chinese receive great injustice and there is no way to appeal or resolve the problem, some of them would come to the authorities in Beijing to make their plight known. The local government has to use a lot of manpower to prevent the people of their respective cities from going to Beijing. During major festivals, the hijacking of petitioners is a primary political task for local governments. <laughs> Petitioners will do whatever they can to get the attention of the officials in Beijing, even if it may be costly. Wow. 